Sadhana Chatushtaya having collected, being equipped with the necessary means, and those means are qualifications, inner qualifications of a person. Viveka Vairagya Shamadama, the six qualities, and Mumukshatvam. With these four, equipped with these four qualities, now a person is entitled to enter into the realms of another Viveka. The Viveka, discrimination of Tattvam. So Tattvam and Atattvam. Tattvam is reality and Atattvam would mean that what is apparently real. Not real, but appears to be real. <laughs> so Tattva Viveka Kaha. The apparently real has a technical name, technical word Mithya. Okay. So, Tattva Viveka Kaha. What is that Tattva Viveka? In which one wants to see the segregation of Tattva and Atattva, real and the apparently real. So, that is being spelled out. Atma Satyaham. Atma Satyaham. Tadanyat Sarvam. Mithyaiti Jnanam Eva Every word over here now is very very important. Atma Satyaha What is Satyam? Atma Tadanyat then I will, Atma is Satyam, I am a reality. 
So also as much as I am real, I find the world also to be equally real. Now that world means everything. You know that world just does not mean, you know, the, the mountains and rivers, the planets and cosmoses. It includes anything which can fall under the category as not I. Hmm. So now, because Atma and Anatma, I and that what is not I, these are the only two components of every experience. I am and that what is not I. Whether that what is not I is experienced by you or not experienced by you. Whether it is known or pending to be known or even that what cannot be even known. Everything, all these things now go under the category not I. Hmm? So we have to, so what is the confusion then? The confusion is about considering that what is not I as I. And I is being experienced, seen as that what is not I. And thus under this confusion begins all, all your suffering. Okay? So the suffering is now seen as a product of confusion. Aviveka. So now we say Atma Satyam. We, we, we still have not known what that Atma is. We know the Atma means I. But in, huh? There is no video today. There is. There is. Okay. What is this Atma? Under this word I, several things are already there with you. I am a man, I am a woman. I am healthy, I am sick. I am beautiful, I am ugly, I am holy, I am profane, I am powerful, I am wanting to be powerful, I am popular, uh, well I just exist in anonymity. Kind of, you have several things under the word I. So you cannot say that the I is not known. I know I am. I am hungry, I am thirsty, I am sleepy. I know I am waking, I know all that. So what are you saying that I do not know? Because not knowing ignorance and that you are saying Atma is not known. But I am known. Not only to me, ask my husband, ask my wife, ask my neighbors, they also know me. I know myself, others also know me. And all my life I am trying to make them understand, know me only. What are you saying? So the whole attempt of you doing this knowledge, self-knowledge, oh, what is this? It's a useless thing. Who is saying this? Purva Paksha. <laughs> Don't take this Siddhanta. This is Purva Paksha. 
Now, thing is, because there are so many things which exist with you as the definition of I, and look closely, every definition is potential dukkham. Every definition is potential dukkham. Now he who says, I am beautiful. For that person, what is the dukkham? Uh, I should not become ugly. I should not become unbeautiful. His potential dukkha and he's scared that what if my, you know, the color of my skin changes? What if the texture of my complexion changes? What if my, my hair line recedes furthermore, becomes sparse? I have any definition that you give to yourself, that definition is capable of giving dukkham. I am a husband, I am a wife. Dukkham or, that gives dukkham or not. I am rich, I should not become poor, hey? I am popular, nobody else should become more popular than me. Every definition has got something to give Dukkham. And so all these meanings which you have given to this I, is where the confusion is and therefore under this confusion the reality is hidden just as under the snake the rope remains hidden under the silver the shell remains concealed Okay, concealment has happened and concealment is the quality of correct. What is this power called? Vikshepa. What are you talking? Vikavaranam conceal. Just as darkness conceals objects. If the room is dark, no light over here, the objects are in their place. But the darkness just makes it unavailable. You want to search for your keys in a dark room. <coughs> the key. <coughs> and where are my keys? You, they are just there. Where? Where you left? But where? Where means it is just the keys don't walk anywhere. The keys are not going to walk anywhere, but concealed, gone, avaranam. Just as the darkness conceals the objects, like that, ignorance also conceals. The snake has concealed the rope. The silver has concealed a knacker. And therefore there is a need to know even that what is self-evident. Because that what is self-evident, now in spite of it being evident, is mixed up with confused with something else. And because there is a confusion, the confusion is because of avidya, is because of ignorance. What can remove the confusion? Okay. And for the knowledge to take place, what does one require? 
But yes, that is one thing. But proper discrimination. And therefore, viveka is required. Through this viveka, the knowledge takes place now. Okay. And therefore, tattva viveka. So, what is this tattva viveka? Atma eva satyam. Do you see that evakar at the end of the word uh, sentence? It's not there, but. It's not there in your book? In the book, jnana uh, eva is not there. Then add that, please. It, and, uh, it ends at iti. No. Mithya iti. Okay, then now add e, jnanam eva. Mithya iti jnanam eva. Okay. Make that change and it will help the, understand. This evakar is a very important word. It just looks small but does a lot of work. Hmm? Like Lal Bahadur Shastri. Hmm. No? What did they say? What did they say Lal Bahadur Shastri? Marathi mein tha. Murti lahan pan kirti mahan. Lahan means chota. Wo kad mein chote the Lal Bahadur Shastri, the Prime Minister. Oh, small, frail little thing. Kirti, but kirti mahan. Then, that evakare is small little word, but it does a lot of job. And you will see how Atma, now shift that eva. This is, this is what, uh, this, this, this flexibility is there only in Sanskrit. You can place the subject, predicate, object anywhere. The verb, nouns, you can jumble them anyhow, but the sentence will be complete defectless. That's why the poetry, you speak and that can become a poetry. It can, you can make it go into a proper meter. Then this evakar, put it there. Atma eva satyam. What is satyam? Atma is... Atma alone is Satyam. Atma alone is Satyam. Why, why are you saying that, sir? Atma Satyam could have had been just enough. Now look at this. You already are accepting that Atma is Satyam. I am real. Does anybody come and say, I am not real, you know? Huh? Then what? You are an appar apparition? Huh? Some ghost? Just steam talking or what? Atma Satyam. Yes, Atma Satyam only. Hey, but then there is something more. Put Eva. Atma alone. Hey. Now this becomes, you become little alert. What? I alone am Satyam, that means everything else, that, that much sentence is enough to, to imply the other part. Atma alone is Satyam means what? Correct. You, your friend are going to walk for a walk somewhere and someone comes, you alone come for dinner. That means what? Don't bring this whole jing bang of monkeys with you. You alone come, okay? Don't bring this circus. It is implied you alone come. The other part just gets implied. Like that, Atma 
एव सत्यम वॉट एवर दिस सेल्फ इज वॉट एवर द इज दिस आय अलोन इज सत्यम एंड वॉट आर यू सेंग आई एम एज रियल एज दिस टेबल एज दिस सन मून प्लैनेट्स एवरीथिंग सो we have we have the same we share the same degree of reality the i shares the same degree of reality with that what is not i atma we have to even go into the you know this is very interesting the whole journey is only about understanding sentence that's why it is called as uttara mimamsa mimamsa means analysis it means analysis but what are you analyzing over here don't tell us we are analyzing somebody's mind and all eh? keep the you don't need to know your analysis of the mind whether it is conscious or unconscious right keep it in your refrigerator yeah. then what are you analyzing analyzing your intentions who's interested we want to why are you not interested in my intentions because i am interested in moksha are you moksha Or analyzing your intentions is going going to give me moksha. Going to give me moksha. It may just tell me how cunning you are, and so that I can plan my moves more cunningly. I'm not. I, what I want is moksha. What is going to give me that moksha? Understanding the sentence of the Veda, and therefore. <laughs> there is an analysis and analysis of the sentences of the upanishad that part of the veda hence it is called as mimamsa uttara mimamsa okay now when you hear the word uttara mimamsa for heaven sake don't ask what is prashna mimamsa okay because prashna and uttar uttar means the letter part and uttar also means an answer analysis of the answer that is analysis of the letter part of the veda which is the section of the knowledge called as the upanishad <laughs> and purva means the earlier earlier part deals with dharma karma analysis of that doing what is going to generate punyam doing what will generate punyam dharma so what is that what should we do in order to generate that punya and that is that is the earlier part now we are not worried about that we want moksha what is that brahma so analysis is there oh this is all just only words and words words means what we want experience this experience people have harassed me tortured me so much now you can understand all my grief coming out of <laughs> survive that means that i, I, I can prove the tiksha was there <laughs> <laughs> some the tiksha tolerated them all then now atma eva satyam okay that eva kar already has conveyed the other part what is the other part 
anything other than Atma is not Satyam. But not saying it is not Satyam is, is another confusion. Because I can see it, experience it. How are you saying, sir? It is not Satyam. It is existent. And therefore, though that Evakar has done a good job, we need to give more clarity to that implied <laughs> part. And so the next part of the sentence is, Tadanyat Sarvam Mithya. Okay. Whatever is there other than the self, what is it? Don't say non, not existent. <laughs> because you can experience it. It is Mithya. It is seen. It is experienced. Just because something is experienced does not make it real. Otherwise the Raju Sarpa will become Satyam. You are seeing it, experiencing it and not only that, that much is sufficient. You start running, screaming, asking for help. And as you are running, you start run, you know, you hit something, get a bump on your head. Who did this all? Who made you run? Who made you run? Rope? So now that snake also has the potential to initiate something like this and make you face pain, fear, palpitation, everything. So it is an experience and this is a taste of reality. Hey, God, don't teach us all this. Tad anyat sarvam mithya That whatever is other than the self, other than the atma, is mithya. Okay, apparently, appears to be real. Then, it eva, now that put that evakar here also. Now that evakar has shifted. Tadanyat sarva mithya eva. Now this evakar is doing what? It is confirming. It is providing the strength to the earlier part. Okay, now further. Jnanam eva. This is called as knowledge. This is knowledge. Now, we can say accepting this is Shraddha. No, 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 no. Wait, sir. Through Shraddha, you have accepted those words. Okay, through Shraddha, what did you do? accepted the words to act as the pramana. Shrad this much is the role of that Shraddha. Done. Shraddha has played its role. And when the pramana is acquired, the pramana will generate knowledge. This is knowledge. So this is Another thing is that, sir, why can't we call it a belief? Why can't we call it a belief? Because beliefs are nice. Some beliefs are helpful. Some beliefs are detrimental. You start believing that, you know, God is asking you to go kill people. Dangerous thing. There is a, some voice in the head that is telling God, I am God telling you go kill few people. Dangerous things will happen. Then 
one person went to you heard that na no? one went to a mental hospital one fellow comes and tells him look here i am the new messenger of god and you know he had got such a such a face and you know sh- clean shaven looks nice you know, and because it is a hospital he could easily get some white sheets also to wrap around you know? so i am the new messenger oh, oh we were waiting for you to deliver us come on before he can fall to the feet another voice booming voice comes from the top don't believe him i have not sent him looks up on the fan another fellow is sitting <laughs> hey you believe hey, let's call it a belief there is a difference there is a difference between belief and the knowledge hmm? belief also is responsible for certain actions to take place belief also can initiate action but knowledge is little different the first thing about knowledge is that it is generated by defectless praman how is how does it come praman defectless praman another thing is this knowledge is something that is verifiable belief is not something that you can verify correct so there is a difference between belief and knowledge it is verifiable you can verify it. there is a method how to verify everything you know now somebody says water is h2o this is wrong water is not h2o so he says okay come to the lab and we will show you hmm, through electrolysis it is two molecules of hydrogen one molecule of oxygen you show me here in this glass of water show me here sir over here i just can do one thing and that is take this glass of water and throw it on you there is a method of verification correct if that method of verification it is verification and that method of verification has to be followed oh you will find out the reality after you die uh-huh. then you can say i will call it knowledge after i die because it will become knowledge only after verification till then it will be just another belief till that moment it is going to be another belief but so you will know the reality of god after you go to the heaven and then you will see something all right at that time i will call it knowledge till then why not belief we are saying no it is knowledge so both the conditions have to be fulfilled one is that it is generated through the means and how are the means ah defectless and the defect in the means would be that what is proved by that means or that what becomes evident through that means 
if it is contradicted cancelled by some other means then that means that instrument loses its status as pramana i will give you an example a person who has jaundice there is also that saying right jaundice eye looks everything yellow he you know na when there is jaundice for the person he sees even white objects as yellow so when it becomes very much a lot of jaundice then even the bed sheets and everything around him becomes his sweat everything it starts he still the body starts leaving a stain of yellow color jaundice okay so now there is a person who has jaundice then he looks at this shankha what do they call it conch okay it is white in color now just a week before also when he was doing the puja he has seen and it was white but now it starts looking yellow to him now seeing that shankha also yellow conch as yellow is a report brought to him by the defective praman and therefore now another pramana will come to cancel it so now his father mother or somebody comes and says no shankha is not yellow it is orange <laughs> why is only he imagine this fellow who has jaundice he looks everything has a shade of yellow for him everything must be looking like that eastman color picture you know you know old days he used to have eastman color some devanand film he is watching huh so if another pramana comes and cancels now that pram- defect of that pramana is shown it loses so there is a knowledge is a very 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 important thing that how knowledge takes place not only through that it takes place through the pramana but that pramana also should retain its status as defectless then it becomes knowledge it can be verified too otherwise it will simply become another belief in so many beliefs one more belief keep it we have no problem jnanam eva this is knowledge so it means whatever that is what was said atma eva satyam tadanyat sarvam mithya eva put the eva car everywhere that's why i said now this eva car will show you its magic hmm eva goes everywhere then this sentence now will will generate it is knowledge okay let us consider whatever that it, this is knowledge and it means that it has come through through appropriate means those means were are not defective the means is not defective this is not shraddha the shraddha is that it is means that's why it was accepted now it is up to the means to prove its its defectlessness 
okay they will look at that responsibility for it to become knowledge just it doesn't become knowledge just like that so everything that is happening you can imagine this is when when this is knowledge so much of it is already taking place it is not ordinary that you know it is not ordinary it is something wonderful that you are able to know it is wonderful yana meva okay na further atma kaha atma what is atma sir maybe we are using the same word to mean two different things correct i also use the word atma you are also using the word atma but let us come on a common ground that what i mean as atma is it what you also mean as atma atma kaha what is this i what is this self which you are saying alone is satyam ah because there is the word i is available with me the word i is also spoken by you kaha what is this atma okay look at it even if there is just a sentence of the two words but it is loaded laden what is this atma let's come let us arrive at a common platform so now we can speak otherwise you are speaking something i am speaking like two two deaf people talking very very interesting bapu ji you i mean when i was living in this i told you right in that kutia number 2 bap with swami ji uh, dandi mat swami ji then bapu ji was also there and in the next kutia one shankarananda used to live okay another mahatma both were old very old people 50 years they were every day they will have tea together talk and then talk about you know people around and it was a very interesting conversation both of them were eh jor se bolo bolna nahi aata hame bolna aata hai bapu ji sunai nahi de raha aapko to kya hua bolo to me 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 se mu me bolte ho to and you know then this shankaranand and bapu ji is a conversation so one day they saying bapu ji bol rahe garmi aa gayi and in the next kutia there was this another lady she because it was winter she, she had gone out and then हमने बोल उर्मी कौन उर्मी आ गई नाउ ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट गर्मी शंकर नंद इज टॉकिंग अबाउट उर्मी एंड बोथ ऑफ देम आर हैविंग अ वेरी हैप्पी कॉन्वर्सेशन हन टू डिफरेंट प्लैनेट्स सो लेट अस कम ऑन अ क्लैक कॉमन थिंग व्हाट इज आत्मा atma kaha here it was <coughs> sthula sthula sukshma sukshma karana karana sharira shariran shariran vyatirikto vyatirikto there is vyatirikta ha ha that is it but is sandhi rule will make it vyatirikto व्यतिरिक्त अवस्थात्रय साक्षी 
पंचकोशातीत सच्चिदनंदस्वो यस्तिष्ठति स आत्मा स्थूल सूक्ष्म कारण शरीर व्यतिरिक्त अवस्थात्रय साक्षी पंचकोशातीत सच्चिदनंदस्वो यहाति स आत्मा दैट विच इज व्यतिरिक्त अदर दैन अदर दैन वाट अदर दैन दि ग्रॉस सटल एंड दि कॉजल बॉडी ओके दि फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दि सेंटेन्स प्रथम दल वट इज द द्वितीय दल अवस्थात्रय साक्षी इज दि विटनेस ऑफ थ्री स्टेट्स अवस्थात्रय साक्षी पंचकोशातीत अतीत अतीत मीन्स बियॉन्ड अबाव अबाव बियॉन्ड वॉट दि फाइव कोशाज the five sheets like how we have this sheet it can be called as a sheet or like to wrap it around this is a sheet cocoon is also kosha cocoon is not the worm the silk worm it is just a wrap around the cocoon is something that is wrapped and the worm is sitting inside so panchakosha titaha is beyond the five sheets five wrappers and what is it that is that is actually other than the sthula sharira karana sharira etc or that what is called as the witness or that what is beyond what is it sachidananda swarupa by itself what is it of the nature of existence knowledge and <coughs> happiness ananda some people say ananda is different than happiness and all but you know we have a long way then you have to give so much of scaffolding to it to support a lot of reinforcement has to be given oh what you are experiencing is happiness ananda is something different but why would you want to have ananda why would there be even desire for ananda if it is not you can desire something which is in some way experienced known at least known by hearing oh you should see paris it's beautiful so you have no ananda is all that you know is sukha and dukha do you know ananda no so if somebody goes to say that ananda is different other than this sukham no you know it's dif- difficult and it is it is not only difficult if somebody says that then we have to build a lot of things around it another thing is it is even a shastriya this is not what the upanishad says because because ब्रह्मानंदे विषयानंद वॉट इज एक्सपीरियंस्ड एज हैस इज अ माइन्यूटेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ आनंद वाई बिकॉज एबसेंस is a negative thing it is not there ab so 
so now you see now you, we have to go a long way uh-huh. because something that is not atma is already said what is not atma is said panchakosha avastha traya uh, sharira traya is already said but what is it is it just absence of uh, panchakosha what is pot pot is not the table pot is not the wall pot is not the couch pot is not the carpet what is pot is pot just absence of all these things by itself what is it ah kambu grivadi matvam got it so that's why we just cannot just say no, like that and remember <clears throat> it is not abhav it is not absence absence of panchakosha is not atma absence of panchakosha is not atma absence of avastha traya is not atma we will have to then say that what is indicated by the absence which means it is there but how is it indicated through the absence ha huh. i will if you really want to think about it i will. okay let's go but then you know at the end of this you, we people should not say that swami ji you didn't complete the book and all ha huh? <laughs> that anyway is, is going to be like this so <laughs> so what happens is we have compound words hmm happy and unhappy or you take this there are two words car and park two different words but when they are put together it becomes one word car park car park what is car park place where the cars are parked that's car park it's not like children's park where you leave the children to create ruckus car park where the or ch- where the children are parked <laughs> car park it is a compound word okay it is a compound word like that there are compound words happy and unhappy happy is the word and when you add a negative particle as a prefix it becomes unhappy and it conveys exactly the opposite meaning of happy it does that work okay absence of something will also be conveyed by a negative particle sitting in front okay will be conveyed like we use the word anantaha ananta means anta means limitation anantaha means limited unlimited it also would mean absence of limitation 
when you use the naya samas it means absence of limitation so the word goes to show absence what does it show absence it goes to show absence is paramatma absence because we have already said is existence cannot be absence cannot be absence is existence then another thing we have this is the naya samas the word ananta can be explained through naya samas negative compound samas okay then bahuvrihi samasi is there how will that bahuvrihi work is like this that whose absence oh, that whose that who which does not have limitation that which does not have limitation got it it is not it does not mean absence of limitation now what does it mean there is an entity which does not have absence a limitation and therefore it is different it means it is something positively available it is not absence and therefore we cannot say it is absence it will have to be even those words will have to be employed as bahuvrihi technical it's okay If somebody wanted to know so this is it atma kaha sachidanand swarupa who is this what is this atma who or who is this atma this atma is first thing is is sharira traya vyatirikta other than is other than the three bodies is other than the three bodies then there is one some some spiritual teacher in south of india you know this gentleman he has got a lot of following here as well as in west everywhere <laughs> and his claim is i have three bodies one is here in the south of india eating idli sambar no because south indian then one is in in uh, himalayas doing tapasya and then there is a third one which is in some vaikuntha lo wherever then one day one of us can we also have three bodies and they are not so dislocated we can find them in one place स्थूल शरीर सूक्ष्म शरीर कारण शरीर दे ग्रास बॉडी सटल बॉडी एंड दे काजल बॉडी दैट विच इज अदर देन ऑल दिस थ्री इज आत्मा दैट विच इज व्यतिरिक्त अदर देन दिस थ्री बॉडी इज इज आत्मा नाउ वी हैव टू सी ऑल दिस मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज जस्ट गेटिंग द डेफिनेशन the early part other than this three bodies is atma that which is the witness of all the three states which means the 
the one to whom the waking dream and deep sleep occur the one who illumines all these three states hmm this transactional entity whatever this is is available only in the waking state but you call this as i but this i is available even when this waking state is not there that goes to prove that the meaning of i is much more than just this personality a transactional thing jisko lekar ke itna you know ho halla machate ho that so much of ruckus is created with this fellow <laughs> as i oh, i you know sorry my girlfriend has left me i'm very I'm, i have lost my money i have got my, my children are not listening to me mm, and all that hey, hey this fellow is just limited up to waking state dream state and also the deep sleep state the one who is the witness the one who illumines all this three is atma now you also have the meaning of the word i and your meaning of the word i is i means this body mind complex this tool body i am a woman i am a man all these things is the meaning of word i and i with these personality traits you know <laughs> the one all this personality traits with this grass body is called as i and on verification you will find that what a mistake is this this is an error but we, one can live with an error and function with an error just because you live with the error function with the error does not mean that error is right error remains error that's why it is error it, it, when it can be proved otherwise it is already an error then you see these flowers here hmm and you can prove these are not flowers this is some fabric huh? this is some fabric whatever it is huh? um, but definitely not flower so immediately it gets proved otherwise now now though it appears like flowers is it flower it has gone the reality of it as flower is already washed out is gone so for you to function with something it's not a big deal function you can function calling it okay these are when i say look at the flowers over here where will you turn your eyes where are the flowers are huh? oh you know here but then when you see it is a, this is fabric this is some gone the reality of it is gone it is falsified the meaning of word so it is an error it is an error so when something can be proved otherwise it becomes whatever was held before now it is erroneous got it 
the meaning of word I for you now is this body mind complex and we are saying sharira traya vyatiriktaha is something that is other than this body mind complex is other than the body mind complex that which is avasthatraya sakshi the witness of the three states and then panchakosha titaha that which is beyond the five koshas and by itself how is the atma satchida ananda swarupaha okay the nature of i is ananda awareness and existence knowledge awareness and existence now the word knowledge is not some activity in the brain or information information is also called as knowledge the implication of the word knowledge is far more than than information okay got it how is all this we will see it it will be unfolded be patient sa atma okay this is what is atma so now the next line sthula shariram kim sthula shariram kim sir what is this sthula sharira what is the gross body we all have this body but and you know that which is called as man woman young old middle aged adult still young and all these things <laughs> whatever is whatever you may call this as evergreen and all that is devanan thing sthula shariram kim what is this grass body please tell us because if you want to know what is atma the first condition that what is not the grass body what is the gross body then we will be able to find out what is not the gross body correct so now what is not the gross body what is this gross body panchikritam panchikritam pancha mahabhutaihi pancha mahabhutaihi kritam sat kritam sat karma janyam sukha dukha sukha dukha bhogayatanam अस्ति जायते वर्धते विपरिणमते अपक्षीयते विनश्यति षडभाविकार युक्त तत्स्थूल शरीर in hindi they means sthula sharir means sthul means the one who is stout big sthul sharir some gujarati lady had come over there in mumbai then she wanted to tell this swami ji swami ji you know your thinking is very subtle which is very big huh even your sir big and our buddhi is small 
सी सर स्वामी जी हमारी बुद्धि सूक्ष्म है आपकी बुद्धि स्तूम हमारी बुद्धि सूक्ष्म है भाई तुम्हारी बुद्धि सूक्ष्म हाँ समझ में आया कि तुम्हें सूक्ष्म है मत बोलो यादव बहुत सूक्ष्म है ग्रास बॉडी ही सेज इट इज सेड पंचीकृत पंच महाभूत ही कृतम सर दैट विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड कॉम्पोज बाय द ग्रॉसिफाइड फाइव एलिमेंट्स विच इज कॉम्पोज बाय द ग्रॉसिफाइड फाइव एलिमेंट्स पंच महाभूत ही कृतम सर then karma janyam not only that the five gross elements have gone into its making but there is one more factor which is responsible for the construct and that is karma papa punya adi karma purva kritam then it is this place this body becomes the location in which one gains the experiences of sukha dukha etc okay it is here that the experiences of sukha dukha etc that's why sukha sukha dukha bhoga yatanam ayatanam means house then another thing that it is it is yuktam endowed with the six vikaras modifications shad bhava vikara six modifications what are those six modifications asti is there jayate is born vardhate grows विपरिणमते चेंजेस अपक्षीयते डिटीरियोरेट्स विनश्यति एंड फाइनली गेट्स डिस्ट्रॉयड दैट विच हैज गॉट ऑल दीज थिंग्स दैट विच इज क्रिएटेड विच इज विच इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड मैन्युफैक्चर्ड by the five gross element i mean grossified five elements then the, and it, the karma is also responsible for its making and it is with these six modifications associated with the six modifications ha huh. yuktam means associated with six modifications so wherever you are going to find these lakshanas wherever these characteristics are going to be found together that is what is called as gross body now the job is to find out where this six uh, where these lakshanas can match where these characteristics will match and you will find gross body having found gross body what will what will what is next that which is not a gross body is atma okay we have this is how we are going to go om purnamata purnamidam purna purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate शाति शात शाति शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बादरायण सूत्रभाष्यत वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त
Actually, there is a question from somebody on the webinar. I request him to kindly enlighten us on the types of Vairagya and types of Uparama. This is from Suhas Mukshi. Just a question, Swami Now? No, you answer when you're ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm ready. You must be hungry. Hmm? Bunker. 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 